can see those events there that I've listed on the timeline, and I really wish they weren't on there because I don't want to distract you too much. But yeah, you're right. Obviously, when uh, either peaks or, or valleys in the uh, in the trend line can be attributed to specific events. I mean, it really just depends on the event itself. For example, in early uh, 1990, um, well, let's take early 2001, or, uh, uh, September 2001, right? Look at the Look at the spike in George W. Bush's approval rating, right? Uh, the 9-11 terrorist attacks. But on the low end, look at, for example, um, the uh, midterm congressional elections in the Clinton administration, right? There's a, an arrow pointing down to that where it bottoms out there. So, I mean, in, specific events can have either a positive effect or a negative effect on the president's approval ratings. So for the time being, at least, try to ignore those, those events that I've put out there. Well, I'll tell you what, let's, let's put off further consideration of that question for just a moment. Let me back up. Let's look at, um, let's look at the original graphic again. Okay, there's a second trend line on here. The red one shows uh, monthly unemployment data that over the same period. So every month, the Bureau of Labor Statistics is reporting the unemployment rate. And you can see this trend line, it ranges over a much smaller range of values, right? A low of about 3% early in the period in the 1950s to a high of just over 10% in uh, the early 1980s, and now again very recently it got up to about 10%. Uh, so that's a range of about 7 percentage points. Okay? But do you see any other trends in that line? Maybe as it relates to the blue line. Do you see any connection between the two? Um, that when it was down, it was Say that again? Who said that? Okay, you see some relationship between the two sets of data so that I think what I heard you say is when presidential approval is high, relatively high, unemployment is relatively low. So there's some sort of inverse. And, and by the way, does the other thing hold? Does, for example, when presidential approval is low, unemployment is relatively high? So there's an inverse relationship between these two variables. Is there a, uh, can you suggest for us, uh, I'm sorry, it's still relatively early, I'm having a look. Erica, can you suggest a, uh, a cause and effect relationship? Like if you, does it make sense to you think that one, of, does it make sense to you to think that one of these is a cause and the other is the effect? Which is the cause? Okay, so we're going to say this is the independent variable, the cause, not necessarily meaning that changes in this are causing changes in that, but just when we think about it scientifically, you know, mathematically, we want to think about this as the independent variable or the X variable, and this is the dependent variable or the Y, the y variable. Okay, now, is everybody on board with that? You know, one way, I guess, to satisfy yourself that <coughs> this is the appropriate relationship is to ask yourself, does it make sense to think that the unemployment rate is going to go up or down based on how people perceive the president's performing this job. Does that make sense to you? Does that like make intuitive sense that depending on how people perceive the president and the way the president's doing his job, the unemployment rate is going to go up or down? Or does it make more sense to think that depending on how the unemployment rate goes up or down, that's going to have some effect on the way the president's perceiving this, that the people are perceiving the president's job performance. That makes more sense? Okay. So, yeah, I think, I think I'd be on board with that. I think I'd be inclined to tell you that we should think about the unemployment rate as the independent variable and presidential approval as the dependent variable. Now, before we get into a little bit more closer look at whether or not that actually holds, theorize for me. Why... And why would that be the case? Again, I don't want to. We have to be careful here when we start talking about cause and effect, because I don't mean I don't mean to suggest to you in any way that the president's approval rating is solely and exclusively determined by the un 
unemployment rate. Okay, because obviously there are other things that may have a bearing on how people perceive the president's job performance. But if unemployment does have some causal effect on how people perceive the president has a job, what is the explanation for that? That's what I meant when I said theorize for me. What's the explanation for that relationship? What do you think's going on here? That changes in this would result in changes in the president's approval rate. Somehow people have the idea that the president is is supposed to manage the economy, right? And therefore, if the economy is doing well, as indicated by the unemployment rate, by the way, there is no direct measure of how well the economy is doing. It's not like we have something that we directly that we can go out and measure and say, economic performance, right? They're only indicators of economic performance. The unemployment rate is one, but we can also look at the inflation rate, we can look at interest rates, we can look at a whole range of, a whole host of variables that would give us some indication of how well the economy is doing, but the unemployment rate seems to be a pretty good one, all right? So p- people must have the idea, like somehow they go click, 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 unemployment is getting worse, that must mean, oh, like, the president's supposed to be managing the economy, that must mean the president's not doing a very good job and his, unemplo- his uh, approval ratings go down. Or vice versa, if unemployment goes down, somehow people go click, 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 click. That must mean the president is supposed to be managing the economy. That must mean that the president's doing a good job. Is that kind of what was going on here? Okay, I think most, I think many people who study the American presidency and particularly who study public perceptions of presidential performance would tell you that economic performance is a very is very closely associated with how people judge the president and how well he's doing his job. Let me show you a uh, different version of this because because these are being measured over two different ranges of measurement, that is to say, Unemployment is varying over only seven percentage points, and presidential approval is ranging over ten times that, 70 percentage points. It's a little bit difficult, I think, it's a little bit difficult to actually see the pattern.